So quick little backstory. I've never done anything like this for any of my birthdays, so I thought, why not do something crazy this year? So I bought two tickets to Warriors vs. Rockets on November 7th because that was my 22nd birthday. And so that was sort of like my birthday present to myself. And my brother decided to go with me. We drove all the way to San Francisco, watched the game, and it was it was a great time. But this was originally gonna be more of like a vlog style video. I mean, it still sort of is, but I wasn't really talking that much in my clips. Actually, I don't even think I was talking at all. I was just recording stuff. So every now and then I'm gonna just pop in to explain something or give my thoughts about what I was thinking at the time or why I recorded certain things because there are some moments where that's needed. But let's get into the video. So real quick, just to start, I barely recorded anything while we were driving up there and I didn't record anything when we were driving back because there's literally nothing. There's literally nothing. This clip that you guys are seeing on the screen right now, this is all we saw for five hours out of, out of the seven hours that we were driving. So don't be in the comments talking about, oh, where, where's the trip? We were driving through Central California. If you know anything about driving I-5 through Central California, you, you know why I didn't record anything. It's literally just grass and trees and cattle farms for 300 miles. Like, there's nothing out there. But then we did eventually get to Oakland, and we got on the Bay Bridge, got to see a bunch of different stuff. We got to see the Golden Gate Bridge, which I probably have on screen right now. We got to see the city, all that good stuff. And of course, we got to see the arena from the bridge. A little bit afterwards, we arrived at our hotel, which is about give or take a mile away from Chase Center. We put our stuff down pretty fast because we had already gotten there. The game was at 5.30 and we got to the hotel around 4.40, so we were already like super... We already got there a little bit later than we wanted to, so we just wanted to head over to the arena before things got out of hand and we wouldn't be able to get into the arena in time. But after all the chaos and, you know, the ticket checks and the you-know-what card checks, that's when we finally got to the arena and we got to find our seats, which were in section 116, row 2 which is not the closest seats to the court, but it still has a really, really good view, as you guys will see in the video. The head coach of the Rockets is Steven Silas.
So originally the reason that I took this video is because I saw Draymond just standing there with my own eyes and I was like, holy these dudes are massive human beings. I, like, of course, we already knew this, but actually seeing it for yourself, it's just like, it, it's mind boggling. Like, and then I got to thinking, holy sh**, Draymond isn't even like close to the, the biggest person in the league. Imagine seeing somebody like Shaq or LeBron in person. It would be crazy. But it's just one of those things that you can't really like even on here, you guys can't really tell any difference but i promise you if you went to see them in person you would notice like it would be a crazy realization like even steph as small as he seems on the court standing next to everybody else he's still six foot three hundred ninety pounds like when he's standing by himself like you can tell that he's not a regular size person it's crazy when you just see him standing there after going through life just thinking oh okay he's just a couple inches taller than me that's you know a good comparison no it's not <laughs> <laughs> this dude is not a normal sized person. Checking in for the Dubs, number 32, Otto Porter Jr.
champion from Warriors, number double zero, Jonathan Kuminga. Replacing Gary Payton. So that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. I wish I recorded more, but obviously I'm not just gonna have my phone out at all times during the game. I know I missed a lot of stuff that happened during that game. I missed a couple of Steph threes. I missed the uh, Otto Porter going nuts in the second quarter. I missed a lot of Gary Payton's dunks, but I think I got a good amount of content for that video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. Like, I hope you guys know that this is all from your guys' support from the last couple months. I mean, this is crazy. Like, you, you guys really made this video possible and I'm forever grateful for that but with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna be uploading a video about steph's quote-unquote struggles recently and how he's probably going to go nuclear sometime this season just like he did last year so be on the lookout for that but as i said before i hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new hit the bell to be notified when i upload comment down below what you want to see next and as always i'll see you guys in the next one